Next, we're going to be doing Basic 5 in the HTS series, which requires some JavaScript knowledge more than the HTML knowledge it says. So when we go into Basic 5, it says Sam has gotten wise to all the people who wrote their own forms to get the password. Rather than actually learn the password, he decided to make his email program a little more secure. Knowing this, we need to look at the page source. Well, we don't need to if you know JavaScript, but I'm just showing you. And he has his email script right here, but form editing will not work. So that is why we need to use a JavaScript injection to change this value to our email address. JavaScript. Oh, I'm going to move this up so you can see. Alert. And this would seem like it's form 1 because it's the first and only form on the page. But actually, the first form is always 0, the second form is 1, third, 2, etc. Dot 2 dot value equals, then you should enter your email address here. It will pop up this JavaScript box that has your email address. Click OK. And now we know that the value has been changed due to that pop-up popping up. Click Send Password to Sam. Password Reminder successfully sent. Although it did not send it to... It did not send to... Webmaster at hulaballoon.org it sent to my email address which I changed in the JavaScript injection so now it's time to check my email so I will go over into this tab and see if I got the email here we are sam at www.hackthesite.org your password reminder sam here's your password oh what do you know they gave us the password Let's test it out. We'll go enter it, paste it in here. And that is how you do JavaScript injections. I did not write this JavaScript injection. I just know how JavaScript works. I've learned JavaScript injection throughout my time. And basically, if you would like to learn more about JavaScript injection, head on over to this following link nexodyne.com slash showthread dot php question mark t equals one four seven three six if you go there it will show you everything from basic to intermediate javascript injecting and if you've never even heard of javascript before this is a great tutorial and i highly recommend it and since we're done with basic five, we can move on to our next challenge, which I will post very soon. Thanks for watching.